Hello, and welcome to another EdTechnocation video tutorial. This video will be one out of a series of Google Classroom videos by EdTechnocation. This video will show you the different email notifications that the teacher and the students receive in Google Classroom. First, let's start with the email notifications that a student might receive. The student can receive two different types of email notifications. The first arrives in the inbox when the teacher creates either an announcement or an assignment. For example, if the teacher were to create an announcement about tomorrow's test, don't forget, tomorrow is our test. Make sure you study. When the teacher posts this announcement, the student will receive an email notification in his or her inbox, as seen here. So when that teacher created the announcement, here is the email notification for that announcement. And it looks like this. The email contains the announcement itself, as well as a link that takes the student directly into his or her Google Classroom. Students can also receive email notifications when a teacher creates an assignment. The teacher has already created assignment in this class, so if you look at the student's inbox, he or she has already received an assignment email. And it looks like this. In an assignment email, the assignment title is shown, the instructions by the teacher, the due date, and a link that takes the student directly to that assignment details. This comes in very handy for students who may not often check back with the classroom. The other type of email notification for students comes from the teacher returning assignments to the student. So for example, as this, if this student were to complete this assignment and turn it in, give it a second to create the document. So as a student, I could jump into my document, type my reflection as instructed, and then turn it in. Now on the teacher's end, when the teacher visits the assignment to see who has turned in that assignment, I will see that practice student has turned it in. The student can visit that document, add comments, and give feedback, as well as provide a grade. That'll be nice. And when the teacher returns that student's assignment, the student will receive an email in his inbox, as shown here. In this email notification, the student will see that his assignment has been returned for the video reflection, he sees his grade, and he has a link directly back to that assignment details. Very useful for students to keep track of their assignments. So in summary, students receive two types of email notifications. They'll receive an email notification if the teacher creates either an announcement or an assignment, and the student will receive an email notification when the teacher returns an assignment to that student. Now for the teacher. I'm going to go back to the stream. The teacher really only receives one type of email notification. That email notification comes when a student adds a comment to a public comment thread in Classroom. Public comment threads are attached to announcements or assignments. So for example, if this student wanted to ask the teacher a question about this announcement tomorrow, he might ask, what is this test about again? And post it. The teacher or receive an email notification when students add comments to the public thread, as shown here. 
it'll tell the teacher which student commented, uh, what they commented on, what their actual comment is, and it'll give the teacher a direct link back to the classroom. Okay, so that's really the only email notification that a teacher receives from students. Now, there are two things that I want you to be aware of in terms of um, what email notifications teachers don't receive, but you would expect them to. So, for example, um, in an assignment, so if I were the student, I were to go inside this assignment, uh, there is a private uh, comment thread between the teacher and the student that only the teacher and that student can see. If this student were to ask the teacher, did I do a good job, and post it, you might think that the teacher will receive an email notification for that post, uh, for that comment, but that's not true. The teacher does not receive any email notification for a private comment thread. So that's important to be aware of. Also, uh, students have the ability to share things with the class in the classroom stream. So on the student side, I, the student has an option to share with their class. So a student might ask the class, can someone be my study partner? And post it. As the teacher, you might think that you would receive an email notification for that student post, but that is also not true. As you can see here, the, the, the teacher did not receive any email notification for that student's post. That's also important to be aware of. So once again, in summary, a teacher only receives an email notification when a student comments on a public comment thread. All right, thank you for watching this Google Classroom video tutorial by EdTechNocation. Stay tuned for more videos in a series of Google Classroom videos by EdTechNocation.